Hi everyone, it's Diana Palm, The Love Witch. And today we're gonna to talk about how to not get stuck in being bitter and how to move into just being better. Yes, that's right, I'm talking about relationships. You know you're filled with bitterness if you're still reflecting back on relationships that did not work, did not move into marriage or a healthy long-term commitment, and you're still blaming this person for their bad behaviors. Maybe they cheated, maybe they lied, maybe they did all kinds of bad stuff that made you have to leave them. But when you get stuck in the blame, you stay filled with bitterness. And that prevents you from being able to be in the vibration of love and attract true and meaningful lasting partnership. We really want to get in here and heal the bitterness. So the best way to do this is to look at what lessons you learned from the relationship. It's not a matter of looking for somebody that has potential cheating patterns and avoiding them or shutting down your heart to stay protected. No, that's keeping you in the bitter zone. Trust me when I say there are different lessons that you have learned. You may have learned that you're more independent, that you're more strong, that you're more capable, that you know how to discern things, that you know how to trust your intuition, that you do know how to have healthy relationships, and that you can say no when somebody only offers you toxic relationship patterns. You know, the options are unlimited in that at any moment you could meet somebody else who has the same integrity the same desires and the same goals as you. So why mold somebody who's broken into being a healthy version of a partner that you can have relationship with? There is plenty in the universe. There are plenty of people that have worked on themselves, that have healed their inner child, that are ready and willing to be in a healthy relationship with you and would really value having you in their life. So for all those times that you've been betrayed, backstabbed, gossiped about, put down, diminish, lied to any of those toxic negative relationship patterns, regardless if this is your partner or a group of friends or even family. All of those events have actually built you into a stronger version of yourself and yes, have prepared you for someone or some people that are better. If you clear your bitterness and allow this to better you, you will actually become the strongest, most healthiest version of yourself built from overcoming all of the negative attributes. A helpful tool to help you move from being bitter into being better is to release all low vibrating feelings and emotions, which means don't take it so personally. If somebody has shown up in your life that really, really disappointed you, that's gonna hurt, it's gonna sting, it's gonna break your heart because you've already been with this individual enough to give them your heart, to love them, to develop trust and a bond. So when the betrayal comes, it does feel extremely personal. It's very, very hurtful. But if you can depersonalize that and just see it as the energy that it is coming from an individual who's very unhealed, if they're operating at that level, depersonalize that it was meant for you, aimed at you. That will be a way that you can kind of separate yourself from the intention of a painful event or situation. When you think about leaving low energy behind, low vibrations behind, you're also depersonalizing it in the way that you're not putting all the different names to the faces of the people who have lined up and behaved badly in your life. You can literally just say, I'm leaving betrayal behind. I'm leaving abandonment behind. I'm leaving control behind. And kind of give it a name in terms of the qualities you're leaving behind. You're leaving behind that low vibrating energy, that unhealed gunk that no longer belongs in your life. That helps you to clearly move forward because you have absolute clarity that those energies no longer belong in your life. And if they're attached to somebody who's showing up behaving in those energies, then I'm sorry, but that person does not belong in your life. And that's gonna make it really easy for you to discern what's right for you and what's not. Keep your eye on the ball because you've got wonderful, amazing, loving companions coming into your life. Wonderful friends that are in sync with you, that understand you. You have countless soulmate potentials to have a divine union with. Somebody who truly loves and honors you, who's done the work to heal, who is not bitter, who's not blaming. No, they're better and that's what you deserve. So if you've done the internal work, you're ready for someone better. Do a self check, make sure you're not carrying bitterness and you're not carrying blame so that you truly can be with a partnership who's more in alignment with you. Don't fixate on the bad, take the blessings with you and allow it to build you, build you, build you into the highest version of yourself where you will get the last say because you will be happy 
healed and abundant. Yes, that life is there for you, but you do have to do the internal work. If you would like to work with me, I work with people in one-on-one -on -one private sessions. Go to my website at www.dianapalm.com and check out my package pricing to find out how to work with me, to really get in there and clear deep subconscious programs, genetic belief systems that you inherited, and any of the painful experiences that you've been playing out as patterns in your life. I love helping people shift this paradigm for themselves, really grasping their lessons and moving forward, moving into their new energy so that they can be the better and best version of themselves. Give me a heart below if you have been bitter and if you're ready to just drop it and become better. Tell me that down in the comments below. Give me a big old heart and say better. I'm ready to be better. Yes, because I believe in you guys and I know you can do it. If you like this video, be sure to give me a like down below, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. I can't wait to help you all manifest the life and the love you deserve.